Welcome to the Regional Cabled Array Virtual Facilities Tour. This RCA Virtual Facilities Tour will provide an overview of RCA scope and responsibilities, OOI dedicated facilities, and other University of Washington support facilities. The University of Washington manages, operates, and maintains the Regional Cabled Array, including refurbishment and upgrades, integration and testing, deployment and recovery, data management, and PI sensor integration. The Ocean Observatories Initiative Regional Cabled Array consists of primary infrastructure, which includes 900 kilometers of telecommunications cable providing high power, up to 8 kilowatts, and high bandwidth, up to 10 gigabit ethernet, to seven primary nodes, converting 10 kilovolts to 375 volts for secondary infrastructure and providing 1 gigabit Ethernet and 10 gigabit Ethernet ports. Also, the secondary infrastructure includes 18 seafloor junction boxes, each providing 1 gigabit Ethernet and transforming 375 volts to usable 12, 24, and 48 volt instrument ports. Six instrumented cable moorings are located in water depths from 2,900 meters to 600 meters at three different sites. There's over 150 instruments providing 24-7 real-time data with two-way communication to shore. The RCA is highly expandable for science, industry, and education. Infrastructure maintenance cruises are conducted on an annual basis. RCA operations take place primarily in three RCA facilities located on the University of Washington campus in Seattle, Washington, and four off-campus facilities. On campus, the Ocean Teaching Building, Henderson Hall, and Benjamin Hall are all used for RCA work. Off campus, a Sandpoint facility is a warehouse in Seattle, Washington, 4545 Data Facility, also in Seattle, the Shore Station in Pacific City, Oregon, and a Cable Depot in Portland, Oregon are all used for RCA work. The Ocean Teaching Building, or OTB, was constructed in 1969 and is located on the University of Washington campus in Seattle, Washington. The north wing of the building houses the OOI program, including office space for the program management and science teams of the Regional Cabled Array, and the Operations Center for RCA. The south wing consists of two floors of teaching laboratories and lecture rooms, and two floors of the administrative offices for the School of Oceanography. OTB hosts project management, operations and data servers, sample analysis laboratory, and a warehouse and instrument testing area for the RCA team. The OTB building houses the RCA Operations Center. The Operations Center is used to monitor the network, assess infrastructure health, and provides command and control interfaces to all primary and secondary infrastructure. In addition, the Ops Center hosts PIs for post-installation instrument operations. Sample analysis laboratories are housed within the School of Oceanography Ocean Teaching Building and the Marine Sciences Building. The lab spaces are outfitted with systems required for at-sea analysis of physical samples, including a graph chromatograph, vacuum line for preparation of titanium sample bottles, oxygen and pH analyzers, and a system to measure alkalinity. The labs are also used to prepare cruise instrumentation. The Oceanography Ocean Teaching Building also houses an approximately 2,000 square foot warehouse utilized by RCA for storage and pre-cruise activities. It is conveniently located adjacent to the RV Thompson Dock. Henderson Hall, the headquarters of the University of Washington's Applied Physics Laboratory, houses the RCA engineering team, including office and lab space. The Deep Profiler Laboratory and Machine Shop are also located within Henderson Hall. The Deep Profiler Laboratory supports profiler vehicle and docking station refurbishment, including assembly, integration, and bench testing. The Applied Physics Lab Machine Shop is located within Henderson Hall and specializes in the manufacture of experimental research and prototype apparatuses for oceanographic research. The machine shop has extensive experience machining 
conventional materials, exotic alloys, rare earth metals, plastics, composites, and some ceramics. The machine shop is 5,500 square feet and is staffed by a foreman and six machinists. The University of Washington's Benjamin Hall Interdisciplinary Research Building is located on the UW campus. The building consists of 151,000 square feet with 94,000 square feet of wet bench science laboratories, nanotechnology science environments, and spaces for many other transdisciplinary science fields. The building houses 3,600 square feet of work lab space for refurbishment and testing of RCA subsystems and instruments. The lab also includes an ISO class 100,000 clean room for assembly of RCA equipment. The RCA workspace includes an instrument test area, secondary node assembly and test area, shallow profiler assembly and test area, an electronics bench, clean room, and secure storage. The instrument test area supports refurbishment, including assembly, integration, and testing of all RCA instruments and cables. Disassembly and evaluation of recovered secondary nodes are conducted at the secondary node assembly and test area. Following refurbishment, secondary node assembly, integration, and testing are conducted in this area. The shallow profiler assembly and test area supports disassembly and evaluation of profilers, including the shallow profiler science pod and platform interface assemblies, and the refurbishment of shallow profilers, including assembly, integration, and testing. The electronics bench supports all electronic refurbishment, required upgrades, burn-in, and testing of secondary infrastructure subcomponents. The Benjamin Hall lab space includes an ISO class 100,000 clean room for final assembly and close up with vacuum purge and nitrogen backfill of underwater housings. The Benjamin Hall lab space also includes a secure storage area for RCA equipment and infrastructure. The Sand Point facility is a 20,000 square foot secure warehouse to support the storage and maintenance of primary and secondary infrastructure, including instruments and cables and pre-cruise staging. The facility is not staffed full-time, but a security system is installed and monitored regularly. The Sand Point facility supports integration and testing of PI and core instruments, cable spooling and termination, secondary node frame mounting, and assembly and testing of large secondary infrastructure. The 4545 Data Center is the handoff location to the CI network and is located about five minutes from the RCA Operations Center, providing efficient access and remote hands capabilities. The facility has 11,800 square feet of raised floor space. Additional areas are available for expansion. The facility has 500 kilowatts of power with about 342 kilowatts utilized, cooling capacity for 686 kilowatts worth of equipment, and generator capacity for 2,000 kilowatts. The RCA Shore Station is a purpose-built telecommunication cable facility on a five-acre lot in Pacific City, Oregon, that houses the RCA power feed equipment and transmission terminal equipment. The facility provides power connection to the grid, two emergency generators, a 10,000 gallon fuel tank, and houses the RCA battery backup system. It also houses the US Navy data diversion switch for tier one data. The building is the interface of the front hall and back hall of the RCA system. The RCA submarine cable spares are stored at the Subcom Cable Depot in Portland, Oregon at Swan Island. Stored spares include submarine cable, repeaters, splice kit, and various primary infrastructure components, like the backhaul interface assembly, inclusive of the medium voltage power converter, trawl frames, installation line, and other subcomponents. The University of Washington operates several facilities that RCA leverages to operate and maintain the platforms, instruments, and infrastructure of the cabled array. Test facilities include a pressure test vessel and a saltwater tank. The University of Washington also supports RCA marine operations.
The pressure test vessel is located on the ground floor of the Ocean Science Building on the University of Washington campus. The pressure test vessel has inside dimensions of 24 inch diameter and 8 feet in length and operates between 0 and 10,000 psi, approximately 7,000 meters water depth. Items to be tested are placed inside the tank and a 3,600 pound lid is secured to the top. If the pressure test vessel is being pressurized to over 6,000 psi, the building is evacuated for safety. The saltwater testing tank is located on the ground floor of the Ocean Science Building on the University of Washington campus. The tank dimensions are 24 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 13 feet deep. And the tank contains 23,283 gallons of filtered room temperature salt water maintained at approximately 33 parts per thousand salinity. Viewing from below is possible from eight large windows accessible through the basement of the building. The high bay space adjacent to the tank is 38 feet high, covering 2,000 square feet and features gantry cranes for equipment handling. The research vessel Thomas G. Thompson is owned by the Office of Naval Research and operated under a charter party agreement by the School of Oceanography and the University of Washington as part of the UNOL's fleet. The School of Oceanography has operated and maintained oceanographic ships since the 1930s. The RV Thompson is 274 feet long, 52.5 feet in beam, and at full load has a 19-foot draft. The normal cruising speed is 11 knots and offers a ship's complement for 21 officers and crew, two marine technicians, and berthing for up to 36 scientists. The Thompson's home port is the Marine Science Building Dock at the University of Washington. The dock is 300 feet in length with a 20-foot draft. A mid-life overhaul of the RV Thompson featuring upgrades to the power and engineering systems, science sensor upgrades, including a multi-beam sonar upgrade and the addition of a 300 kilohertz ADCP, as well as lab space improvements, were completed in 2017. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of the RCA facilities. If you have any questions, please contact Deb Kelly, Brian Ittig, or Chuck McGuire at the email addresses shown on the slide.